Why did milk providers switch from home-delivered tapered glass bottles to in-store rectangular plastic cartons? In the past century, milk companies have changed the material, shape, and distribution practices of their product to more efficiently participate in the market. Glass bottles were the primary vessel to commercially package and distribute milk during the first half of the 20th century, as there was no viable substitute in production at the time. However, in the 1950s, glass was becoming too difficult to manage. With reusable glass milk bottles, milk crates were too heavy, there was excessive damage to bottles during transport, and extra time had to be put into cleaning the bottles before filling them back up. Glass milk bottles were sustainable, but that social benefit failed to counteract the explicit and implicit private costs of production. Firms made the transition to plastic containers because it is the lightest and most durable of all materials used to package milk, therefore it takes the least energy to ship with minimal incurred losses. Despite economic efficiency, plastic milk containers have a negative externality on the environment. Although a majority of plastic milk containers utilize recyclable plastics, only about one-third are actually recycled, aggravating problems with solid waste disposal and non-renewable hydrocarbons, further increasing that marginal social cost. With the marginal private cost of plastic milk containers remaining unchanged, MSC will be greater than MPC, and negative externalities will only continue. The marginal private benefit for plastic containers in the milk market, as compared to other materials, is so high that it will take immense excise tax for firms to ever reconsider the more expensive but environmentally friendly substitute reusable glass. Not only do the materials of these milk vessels change, so do their shapes. The original glass bottles were cylindrical and tapered at the top, while the new plastic containers are uniformly rectangular. This change was made to manage the cost of refrigeration by increasing storage efficiency. The tapered tops of glass bottles did not maximize area and thus refrigeration use was inefficient. Rectangular containers utilized the same base area as glass bottles, but they maximized the volume occupied. In storage, 10,000 liters of milk in plastic containers has an electricity total of 90 cents, while glass containers have an electricity total of $1.30, a seemingly small margin that can mean the difference in the firm's long run. With the shelf life of milk extended by the use of plastic, more people tend to purchase milk at the store than have it delivered to their home. Milk companies made the transition from home-delivered milk bottles to plastic cartons for in-store pickup because the supply of milkmen had exceeded the demand for at-home milk delivery. For the consumer, the opportunity cost of having to go to the store to buy milk was less than the accounting cost of the milk delivery service. Firms benefited from not having to supply wages to an unnecessary labor force. Thank you for listening.